Hey Siri, start a three minute timer. Our first tip begins in Power Query. Here I've got two tables of exactly same data and I just want the combined table to be used in my output analysis within Power BI. Now we all know that we can use the append queries option here and combine these two into, for example, we are already on Asia. So I'm just gonna combine America's data here right underneath the Asia data. So everything is here within one table. And we can kind of rename this as final data. And here is the tip. When we click on close and apply, we are gonna get two tables within Power BI, but we don't need two, we just need the final data alone. So how do I make sure that America's data doesn't go to Power BI? This is really simple. Right click on America's data and then uncheck the enable load option. So when you close and apply, you will only get final data. Here is a visual that shows me how many downloads we had for each of our apps. And I want to quickly add a line that tells me what is the average of these downloads so that I can quickly see which apps have had more than average downloads and which has less than average downloads. This is really simple. You don't have to do anything fancy. Just select your visual, go to the analytics option here this one and then from here you can use the average line option and add a average line you can kind of change this formatting of that so for example i can make it dark if you want you can even enable a data label on it so that you can see your average value there let's say we don't want to add an average line instead we want to compare with a target so here I've got my five star ratings for all our apps for each of the months. And I want to know which months had more than 1300 five star ratings. This is really simple to do as well. Just select the visual, go to format options. And from here, select the column. The default is blue. So I'm gonna just change this to gray color and we will make it blue only if the value is more than 1300. So then we will use the FX button here and from gradient, I will switch this to a rule and the rule would be if it is greater than and here we will just type 1300 as a number and less than, I'll just delete this so that it will become the maximum. So anything greater than 1300 as a number and less than maximum, it needs to be blue color. We'll click OK. So all the months where the value is more than 1300 will be in blue color. Those are my three Power BI tips in three minutes. I hope you enjoyed them. Now for more, check out this video on Power BI or here is my playlist of all Power BI videos. Check that one out. I'm not really sure if anyone told you recently. So here we go. You are awesome. I'll catch you again some other time. Bye-bye. <laughs>